Now to the race to reopen the Port of Baltimore. The Biden administration approved a $60 million request from the state of Maryland to help pay for emergency work needed after the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed. ABC's Perry Russum is following the cleanup in Baltimore. This morning, cranes are in place at Key Bridge, ready to clear debris and reopen the Port of Baltimore. We need to clear the channel and open vessel traffic to the port because the health of the Maryland economy and the national economy depends on it. The Biden administration approving an initial request of $60 million from the state of Maryland for mobilization, operations, and debris recovery efforts. That request approved within hours after it was made. The Coast Guard outlining the plan to reopen the port. Step one of that is we're gonna clear the debris from the channel. Step two is we're gonna remove the vessel. And step three is remove the rest of the, bri the bridge debris from the waterway. New video from onboard Dolly shows investigators gathering information from the ship's voyage data recorder, crucial evidence in figuring out what happened. That data recorder showing preliminary information consistent with a power outage. Four construction workers are still missing, presumed dead, including Minor Suazo Sandoval, whose journey to America started on this dirt road in Honduras. His mother, overcome with grief. Minor's brother Martin says they are still waiting with faith and hope they will find his brother's body. Let us join together in a moment of silence. Yesterday at opening day for the Baltimore Orioles, a moment of silence for the six construction workers killed. Later in the game, three Maryland Transportation Authority police officers recognized for quickly shutting down the bridge, saving lives. The governor is stressing they also need to focus on recovering the bodies of the missing construction workers so they can be reunited with their families. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.